Hi friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to upgrade your Blue Prism RPA software to the latest version. This I am going to show you for your community edition, learning edition. So currently I am using version 7.1.2. If you don't have this application installed in your system, you can go through my one of the video which will help you to install Blue Prism in your system. You can also go through this video. In the next step, I will show you how to download and install the learning edition. Okay, so first we'll open this browser. We'll search for portal.blueprism.com and then you will come to this screen, Blue Prism portal. Then you need to click on login. Here you need to enter user ID and password and then click on login. If you do not have this user ID and password, then you have to click on register enter details and then get this user id and password and then you have to enter this and click on login now after login you will see my account then we have this option product once you will mouse over on this product you will see list of options available here you just go to this learning edition i want to install learning edition if you want to install enterprise you can just go through this now we'll go to this learning edition click on that and you can see the current version is Blue Prism 7.2. This is the learning edition. And currently I am using version 7.1.2. So I am going to upgrade this from 7.1.2 to 7.2. Right? Now click on download. You can see here, thank you for downloading Blue Prism. Your license key will be sent to, your, to you by email if you have not received it with the next five minutes please check your junk or spam folders okay so once you will download this one within five minutes you will get your license key okay so this has been downloaded now you can go to download folders this has been downloaded right now before installing this one you need to open this blue prism software and then you have to take a backup of all your processes credentials, objects, queues, all this you can take a backup. So to take a backup, first we'll click on release and then we'll create a package of all this which we, which required. Click on new package and we'll say new package July 2023. Next, enter here, click next and then you have to drag and drop to this right side which you need to take a backup. So we'll take this process, business objects, work queues, and then we need environment variables, credentials. Now click on next. Now the package has been created. Now you need to create a release for this one. So here you can see there's a new release button. You can click on this or you can click on file, then click on export and click on new release. You can see. Now we have option create a release from the existing package. So we are going to create a release for this package. So this all these uh, components which we have inside this package, we are going to create a release and export to a folder. Now click on next, enter a package, uh, the release name. So we'll say new release. Next, paste the same and then choose the location where you want to store this so new release this is the release file type dot bp release click on save click on next and you can see here this is done okay we have taken a backup of all these components which required now you can see here we are using sql connection sql server windows authentication so we need to also just note down these things so first let me click on sign out and you can see here we have a connection name sql server just click on configure connection so that we can get the details of this one and now just take a backup here just note down in a notepad okay so this is the connection name that we used earlier we can take the same name now this is the database server this is the database name that we have available. I don't want to create a new for this one. So I will just use the same. Okay. Close this and you can close this also. 
now this is the software that we need to install so double click on that we are going to install this one now click on get started click on this checkbox click next we are going to select the same path click on install and we receive this user account control prompt we need to click on yes now we are getting this screen that says stop because of the age browser is running we need to close this one so we'll first close this browser and then we'll click on retry so now we did it we just installed the latest version now click on finish and launch blue prism now you can see here we have the latest version 7.2 okay you can just create your password here password requirements at least eight characters at least one uppercase and one lowercase character and at least one number okay so we'll enter the password here and then click on save and continue install database yes click on next So currently you can see we have connection that is local db connection now we need to create a new connection for sql server we need to just connect with our sql server okay so we'll click on configure connection we'll create a new connection we'll enter the same connection name paste here and then database server we are going to use this one which we used earlier and the database name is blue prism and here we'll enter the user id and password so this is the user id i'm going to enter here and the password and now click on test connection okay so you can see we are getting this uh, error because of you are running blue prism against an old version of the blue prism database the database must be upgraded okay so let me click on upgrade database so the current database version is 5501 5, and required database version 523 okay okay now here we need to retype the database password and then click on upgrade upgrade successful now click on test connection and database is valid now click on ok now we have successfully created a connection of SQL server and now we are going to log in now we'll enter the password here which we updated last time before upgrading this one so I'm going to use the older password click on sign in and you can see here we have successfully log in into this latest version now click on studio and you can see here we we have all this data already available here there is no need to import here from the release because we have connected this with the sql server windows authentication you know i already have the license available so i have just added here if you want to activate it after installing that you will get a option to activate it now to find the license you have to log into your that email id let me show you so this is my email id you can see at this time i got this license you can just open this one and then you can download this one and then you can just activate it you will also get option from here click on system click on license and then click on install new license and then you can choose that downloaded license and click on open it will it will install that one you can see the given key is already installed so i have already installed today i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn ui path rpa then you can visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash ui path rpa if you want to learn 
blue prism from udemy so i have created one course for blue prism rpa complete course on udemy so you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there i will enter the the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that i hope you like that one